Welcome to Chris Cook for YouTube. Today I'm going to be making navy beans. Now this is a very simple recipe and your stove is really going to do all of the cooking for you. So let's get started with the ingredients that we're going to need. First off, after you clean your navy beans, and that means take out the ones that are rotten. If you find any little rocks in here, take that out. Then you're going to put them in a half pot of water. This is one pound of navy beans, so you're going to put it in a half pot of water. Now to that water, you're going to add some sugar, just a little bit of sugar, and you're going to add some minced garlic. Now, I don't put salt in my beans because it splits the bean. So I'm putting the ingredients in it that does not have salt in it in the beginning. So that's going to be my sugar. And this is no sodium minced garlic. And you can find that at Walmart or anywhere. And I'm going to put in my cured meat. This is um, turkey parts. And I got a couple of pieces of ham that I had left over, I think from Easter or something that I, I prepared. I rarely prepare hams, maybe about two to three times a year. So I just save the meat from the bone so I can cook it with something else. Now, once I come back and the beans are done, once the beans are done, then I'm going to add my seasonings. Now, the seasonings that I'm going to add is going to be crushed red pepper because I want a little bit of a kick. This is onion soup mix. I'm going to add that. I'm going to add some onion powder, and I'm going to add this because, as I told you in a previous video, this will help anything that you want that southern flavor to. This is a good, it's just a good uh, seasoning if you want a southern flavor or if you want, like, soul food flavoring. And I'm going to add some salt. I probably won't use the pepper, but if I need it, I will use it. And I'm going to add a little bit of butter. I don't have the butter sitting down here, but I will add that. So I'm going to go away, get these beans all picked, get them in a pot, and I'm going to meet you at the stove. Be right All righty, now I came back real quick because I wanted to show you this. If you will look down at these beans, these are the ones that you don't want. You don't want any rotten uh, beans. You don't want that. Any beans that are blemished, you want that. You don't want that. The half beans, beans that are half, you don't want that in your pot. Rocks, you don't want that. And you will get a little bit of these in each batch. So you don't worry about it. You just take it out so that your family don't have to eat that. You discard it. Uh, these are like half beans. All of these type of beans, just take them out. You pick your beans first. They're dried. You just put them on a cutting board. Look through them. That's what I mean when I say pick them. You look through them and make sure that these type beans are taken out. Now, as far as your beans are concerned, I want to show you something. When you put your beans in a bowl to wash them, Give it just a little quick hand stir like that, okay? Now, if any of these beans rise to the top, you discard them because they're no good. That's a blemish that we can't see with the human eye, but it's still there. It means that that bean is it's no good. So just take it out and just discard it. And then once you rinse your beans, then you can put them in your pot of water. So I just wanted to bring you back and show you those two little things. And I'll meet you at the stove. Be right back. Okay, now I'm at the stove. My beans are in the pot and so is my smoked meat and my little bit of ham. And I, ham, and I want to address this. Yes, cured meat is cured with salt. But there's not enough salt in this cured meat to affect these beans. So that's why I used it. Also, there's not enough salt in this butter that I'm dropping over in here to affect these beans. This is salted butter. If you add the salt that's in the butter and the salt that's in the smoked meat, you will not have enough to affect these beans. I'm talking about... When I don't put salt in my beans when I'm trying to flavor the beans with it, which means that I'm trying to put enough bean in it, I'm sorry, enough salt in it, so whenever somebody eats it, it will be enough salt in it. No, don't do that until the very end. And like I told you, this is a no-sodium uh, garlic, minced garlic, so I'm just going to put a... That's about two teaspoons full. 
down over in my pot and I'm going to let, um, well, I'm going to add the sugar because I didn't and I told you, this is about a tablespoon of sugar that I've put over in there. So anyway, um, I'm going to tilt that top and let these go ahead and cook and I'll bring you back in about two hours and show you what it looks like. The only thing that you may need to do, and I really don't think you need to add any water because as you can see, my pot is full. It's about an inch from the top so this should cook these beans on a medium heat this should cook these beans and they should be great be right okay back. now i'm back and my beans are done so the first thing i'm going to do is cut my pot off okay and then i'm going to it takes i want to say this it takes your turkey meat see the same amount of time that it takes for your beans to cook that's why i put them in the pot together and i want you to look See how I could take my spoon and just peel the turkey meat off of the bone? Okay, and I want you to look at these beans. See how my beans are still whole? That's the way you want your beans. You don't want your beans all split up all through the pot. You want your beans to remain whole. See there? My beans are still whole. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of my bacon grease, and I'm going to pour it. That's about probably two tablespoons of bacon grease that I poured into my beans just to give it more flavor. So you don't have to use the butter if you choose not to. You can just go with the bacon grease and that will do it. And then these are the seasonings. I told you to put your seasonings in last. So I am putting in my seasonings last. Everything that you saw me mix together at the table, that's what I'm putting into my beans right now. Okay. Now, I didn't take that bone out, and the reason why I didn't take this big bone out is because I love eating those bones, chewing on those bones, so I'm going to leave it in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this 10 minutes just for my seasonings to go through these beans, 10 minutes. Then I'm going to bring you back, and I'm going to uh, dish up a bowl. I made some cornbread in the background. I'm going to add some cornbread to that as well. So, here you go. Give me 10 minutes and I'll be back. Okay, now I'm back. And my beans have been sitting for a minute. I don't know why they're still bubbling. Because they are totally off. So, I'm going to dish up some beans. Now, when you're cooking um, these beans... Especially in the winter time, you know that take care. That uh, helps when it's cold outside. You want something warm to hit your insides. And I made a pan of uh, cornbread with these beans. So let me just dish it up so you can see how it came out. It's a little bit hot, and made some cornbread to go with it. Here is my cornbread. I'm going to sit it on the side so you can see it. And there you have it. Chris is making navy beans with turkey meat. I had a little bit of ham over in it and making cornbread. Just want to show you something that you can have when it's moving into the winter months and you want to enjoy a pot of beans. There it is. Okay, that's what Chris has for you tonight. She's making navy beans. Now, we're getting ready to move up to the holidays, so I'm going to be doing a lot of your Thanksgiving and Christmas recipes. So, try this. I think you're going to enjoy it, especially now that we're moving into the winter months. And as always, thank you for watching. Chris Cook for you, too. Bye.